Hello and welcome to History Pod. At 9.15am on the 21st of October 1966, 116 children and 28 adults were killed when a colliery spoil tip above the Welsh village of Aberfan collapsed. Approximately 150,000 cubic metres of mining debris from waste tip number 7 surged down the mountainside. 40,000 cubic metres swept into the village. Within seconds, a large area of Abavan was inundated with a thick slurry up to 12 metres deep. A farm and 20 houses on the village's Moy Road disappeared under the surging waste, but the most devastation was wrought on Pantglass Junior School. The landslide smashed into the school and filled the classrooms, which were on the side facing the mountain, with rubble. The children and their teachers, who had only arrived in class a few minutes earlier, were buried alive. Over half the children enrolled at the school died. Hundreds of people, including parents, miners and rescue workers, struggled to find and recover those trapped beneath the waste. Their efforts were hampered by the continuing flow of water and mud from the tip, as well as by the lack of space in which to work due to the number of people who had descended on the village to help. The National Coal Board and its chairman, Alfred Lord Robins, were heavily criticised in the aftermath of the disaster. Lord Robins didn't go to the scene until the evening of the next day and then claimed that the disaster was caused by natural unknown springs despite overwhelming evidence that the National Coal Board was fully aware that the ground beneath the tips was highly unstable. The remaining tips above the village were only finally removed after government intervention. <laughs>